my husband has started doing something in the lean-to and has summoned me. I'm not summonable. I'm not a genie in a bottle. He can just call up whenever he wants to. I'm not here for his amusement. He's looking at me, laughing at me right now. Hello, Mr. Byard. Hi. Welcome to Blacksboro Ranch, y'all. You got that mic plugged in all the way? Yeah. Okay. That's still gonna probably sound like wind. You got big wood? And a bunch of it. Yeah, you do. So I don't know if those cross braces, I don't know if he put those in just to throw all that wood up there. I don't think they're part of the thing structurally. No, I don't think so. So I, I got to knock those off because mamas need like me plus a foot at least. Even our short llamas? Yeah. She's about as tall as me. What uh, what lives up there? Uh, probably rats and stuff. I don't know. Definitely spiders. But I haven't seen much else yet. I'm sure I will. So those are um, 2 by 10 by what? 16, 12? That poop looks much larger than 2 by 10. No. <laughs> um, all of these. Stupid heavy. Ridiculous. What, what was I thinking? I should have waited till tomorrow morning to do this. Why do we have to love our animals so much? Look at Abe there. He's hiding behind a tree like, you don't see me. That's how you hide behind trees. That's true. So, llamas need a certain amount of height for their shelter. Typically, they don't even want shelter. Like, when we first got them before they were sheared, they just stand there out there, stand out there in the rain without a care in the world. But since we sheared them, they, they try to take cover from the sun and sometimes the rain. And this right here is not good because, especially when Beth is trying to fly spray them, they can injure themselves if they're not paying attention trying to run away from her. I hear scurrying. You hear leaf, branches and leaves on the roof. So wait, you're going to take these down? After I get rid of all the wood. Ah. That was the whole point is, I guess in the middle it's not so bad. I could saw it off at this post. But we may want to do something with some of that wood. So we definitely I, do. I need to get it out of here anyway. So I just figured I would try to accommodate the llamas even though they hate me. I just me. figured it's a 100 degree day. It's a good day to move wood. Yeah. Ah! It's a carpenter bee, that's okay. Oh, okay. Saw it in half. Yeah. They, um, that's actually where they've been living. That's where the other ones came from. So it looks like I've got two more stacks of six or seven two by tens each, plus whatever other random crap is up there. All that stuff fell off, and I have to sweep that up or rake it up or something. I just put that dust down and now you're going to mess it all up. I'm sorry. The dust will still be there. It's okay. Do they roll around in here? Sometimes they lay down. They cush. Why did you put the dust on the manure? I don't know. Are they going to cushion the manure? I told you when they walked I thought they'd kick it up. Oh. Uh. And it would get on their legs, and then they wouldn't be doing the little jiggy. Doing the jiggy? Yeah, the fly jiggy. Getting jiggy with it? Okay. Okay. A man playing with his wood. Pulling it, tugging it, 
hoisting it. Stand up. Stand up if I want to. <laughs> Scare me. One down. There's really no delicate way to put it over the fence. One down. I got like 15 down. Where's my tea at? Probably under the shade on the porch. Yeah. Where my water is. I was doing lovely lady things like watering my flowers in the yeah. shade. I've already had second nap today. That's like the Hobbit's second breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> Are you waiting to see something scurry down at me? Maybe. <laughs> I just, I just like to see you play with your wood. You with the innuendos. What in you windows? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the carpenter bees are like, no! <laughs> we'll just relocate to your garden bed. That's true. Um. Um. I've never used one of these things. I can tell. They're not like a whip? No. Well, it broke anyway. Just in case you need that to fend off a feral llama. Use it to fend off you. <laughs> I'm not a feral llama. It looks like it might have been a harness for something at some point. Yep, that's what it is. Sorry, I'm not trying to get you dusty. <laughs> trying to make a lot of noise, so if anything's there, it'll go away before I get to it. Mmm. So that's your strategy. Huh? So that's your strategy. Isn't that a basic rule of thumb for like wild things? Bears, snakes, whatever. Are you being a tripod? Doing a great job. Who's urine? The rat urine. Ugh. That's what that is. Urine and poop. Gross. Yep. How many times can I apologize to a bee? So much room for activities. Right? Llama activities. That's the point. Maybe there'll be some llama sex. I hope so. Some llama fornication. You hear that, Ed? Sexy time, Ed. <laughs> Maybe we need to play some Barry White. All right, so I got, got all the wood moved out of the llama area, which is the important thing. I've still got to move it somewhere else, but I just wanted to get it out of their house for now. I'm coming out here with food. You can hear, um, you can hear clucking and snorting. Let's see if we can look. I took down the uh, the rafters. Would you get out of the way? Just a minute. I took down the rafter thing that was going across, and I I scooped it all out. And I don't know what llama wouldn't want to hang out there.
So that is going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave us some comments. We'll see you next time.